Hi Capricorn, it's L here to do your present energy. So it's late April going into May 2019 general reading. I've got two spirits here, one for love, one for career and finance. Um, let's jump into it. Thank you to those who like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It is much appreciated. All right, so this is how the Capricorn feels about the particular person that they're coming to the reading for. Six of Wands, the Moon, and Temperance. And the bottom of the deck, the Knight of Wands. All right, so the Capricorn feels like they're choosing a particular person. One who may get a lot of attention. One who um, is celebrated. Um, people may watch them or, or, or something of that nature. Or they get a, 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 a large crowd or drawing of people. Or um, they draw people to them. The Capricorn feels deeply about this person. Sometimes they feel like they're so different that the Capricorn and the other person are so different. It's going to be a hard time making it work. They want the same thing, but they go about it in different ways. Which makes the relationship hard to, or that much more harder to see eye to eye or come to certain terms. But the Capricorn is willing to compromise, uh, find balance here. Could be dealing with a Sagittarius person, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, anybody. Someone who is off and on hot and cold about you. Capricorn or this is you with them but you want to make it work you're willing to compromise you feel like you you two are the yin and yang you could fulfill each other or you do fulfill each other you're trying to be the alchemist here I'll do a little of this you do a little of that and, and, and the give and take that's how you feel about the relationship how the person you've come to the reading for feels is the Ace of Cups, the Six of Cups, and the Five of Swords. So they they feel like there's still love here or, or friendship here. There is um, fond memories, there's feelings, there's elation, there are emotions here. It could be the new start of or, or somebody's trying to rekindle. Uh, with with someone from the past or someone who has children but there goes something that always crops back up or maybe there's a real argumentative nature about the Capricorn or the other person Aries Aquarius Gemini Libra energy here Cancer Pisces Scorpio um, they feel like there has been significant change within the dynamic. Um, maybe there was a third party. Maybe there was something or someone that inserted themselves. There was interference here. Um, someone's too concerned about a side that the a person's already shown. So a sign that either the Capricorn's already shown this person or vice versa. So you can't get over that. It's like, uh, I can't get over what you did and what you said. I still like you. There's still fondness here or, or friendship here, but I can't get over that. Okay. Um, We're going to clarify over the other side to see what happens with the other person and see um, if you get, you know, what it is you want in regards to going back to and um, being passionate about. You might want to have a plan of action in regards to approaching this person or approaching this situation, Capricorn. 
you can't just be maybe e either passionately sexually motivated in regard in regards to how to restore this um, you need to have a plan okay so career and finance we have the nine of swords at the bottom of the deck so maybe there's an ending in one particular way of doing something earning money earned income or there's a strife and stress in regards to money and finance the six of wands again wow um there'll be victory here uh with this ending five of cups again um you may be hesitating before making a full-on decision to maybe six of cups go back to something or someone from the past uh to communicate um to push something forward to grow something to take a leap of faith and go in a new direction a new path here yeah a new victorious start severing the ties i think some of you are stuck on the fact that something in your past gave you a lot of victory in regards to career and finance um, the moon again repeating cards even in career and finance um this new victorious start i think heaven is working with you spirit is working with you there's something in the background you can't see how this will manifest for you right and maybe something you do you have to be self-motivated self-starter uh, motivation here um You may be at a place of saving your money or you need to save your money. You need to invest. You may be holding back emotions or feelings in regards to Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Uh, you may be feeling stuck and tied to in regards to career and finance. Definitely finance because some of you are paying child support or you, or you have children with Gemini. Leo, you're needing to stay strong. Pisces. Aquarius. Some of you gone back to school and learned something else. And now you're going to create the lifestyle that you want. This is a completely new endeavor that, you know, you haven't done this before. Where you'll become like a self-starter. Um own your own business or your own time yeah um this will help you get back in your emotions back in check because some of you were acting out of character in regards to your money because your money was up and down some of you going to work with someone who you were or work on a relationship with someone he were married to or in a long-standing commitment because there's children involved you're waiting for judgment final judgment in regards to maybe a divorce or separation that will yield you some money that fourth pentacle that will take you to the next level that'll allow you to maybe travel um, so yeah that's where some of you are okay so we're going to go clarify at the other side thank you for tuning in all information is below the extended read is two dollars go ahead and click that link if you feel like this reading resonated with you for you okay thank you um know that i'm praying for you pray for me as well